In this video, we will be going step by step on how to install a vinyl strip door. The tools you will need are a drill, scissors, a pen or pencil, a ruler, a wrench or socket wrench, and a tape measure. Step 1. Measure your door. Measure your door opening. Find the width and height of the door you plan to install a strip door to. Once you have that measurement, you can order the appropriately sized strip door. We offer a wide range of sizes as well as the vinyl material in bulk. Step 2. Lay out the materials. Once you get your strip door, you'll want to lay out the materials. The vinyl strips come rolled. So once you have your strip door, you'll want to lay them out flat. This should be done at least 24 hours before installation so they have time to uncoil properly. Next, you will find the mounting bracket. It's made from 14 gauge galvanized steel with mounting bolts pre-studded. And with that are the face plates. Once bolted to the bracket, they act as a clamp to hold the strips in place. Step 3. Mark your mounting surface. The great thing about these mounting brackets is their versatility using the pre-drilled holes. You can mount these to a header using the top holes or to the wall using the holes on the inside of the bracket. Depending on how you plan to mount the bracket, you will want to factor that into the length of the strips you get. So if you're mounting to the wall above the door, measure from that point and not the height of the door. For our install, we will be mounting to the door header. You can use the bracket as a template to mark through the holes, as well as a drilling guide to pre-drill the mounting holes. Step 4. Mount the bracket. Secure the bracket with heavy screws. For this video we only used three small screws. This is not strong enough for a real life application and is only done temporarily for this video. When mounting the bracket, use heavy screws in all of the provided mounting holes. Step 5. Trim the strips if needed. You may find that when you hang the first strip that it's longer than needed. If this is the case, they need to be trimmed to hang a quarter inch above the floor. To do this, take the strip, hang it by the bolts, and measure a quarter inch up from where the strip touches the floor and make a mark. That measurement can then be marked with a ruler so you have a nice straight edge and then trimmed with a nice sharp pair of scissors for a clean edge. You can either use the measurement you took before to mark all the rest of the strips or use the off cut to mark the rest of the strips. Once those are all cut, you can hang them back up and they should hang properly. Step 6. Mount the strips. Take the uncoiled vinyl strips and place them onto the metal studs, allowing for either a partial or full overlap. A full overlap means that each strip will cover half of the adjacent strip. A partial overlap will differ based on the size of the strips. For 6 inch and 8 inch there should be a 2 inch overlap, and between 12 and 16 inch strips there should be a 4 inch overlap. Step 7. Securing the strips. Once the first section of strips are laid out and have the proper amount of overlap, slide the face plate over the pre-studded bolts and begin fastening it with the included nuts. Use a wrench or socket wrench to tighten these down and make them snug. And repeat this for the remaining strips. When the time comes to replace a strip here and there, it is as simple as taking the faceplate off, removing the damaged strip, and putting on a new one. The strip door is now complete. People and machinery can pass through easily without opening large gaps, and you can enjoy the benefit of keeping dust and debris out while still having perfect visibility to the other side. 
Thank you for watching this video from NorthshoreCommercialDoor.com. Please subscribe to our channel so we can continue to make content like this. Thank you.